Drive around Houston long enough and you're bound to see one of these. A ghost bike symbolizing a cyclist killed on the roads. This is very close to my family. Cody Eberhardt's mother, Carrie Guillory, was training for the MS-150 with a large group of cyclists in Waller County in March 2017. A driver crossed the center line, striking and killing Guillory and another cyclist, Craig Tippett. She was very likable. She, she loved the, 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 the roads. She loved the, the outdoors. And I will tell you right now, her legacy lives on. Eberhardt spoke on behalf of his mother today at a news conference on cyclist and pedestrian safety. If we can push each day just to save one life, we've done our job. So did a DPS sergeant who responded to that crash. We leave those scenes and we're tore up inside because we leave saying, that was preventable. Today, they offered several prevention ideas, including safer streets. City leaders say injury crashes dropped 75% on this downtown stretch of Bagby since its redesign two years ago. Another ask, more awareness from drivers. We just can't afford to be on our phones when it could cost somebody their life. And from those outside of the car try to make eye contact with the driver. While top cops vowed to look for better ways to enforce new laws. Pedestrians now have the right of way on roads where no sidewalks are provided. A united local approach. Just one little tactic or one little, you know, a piece of advice can help. I mean, that's, that's, what, that's what the whole purpose of this is for. To end a 23 year statewide streak of no deathless days on the road.